Good morning, Waylon. Look Good morning, Waylon. 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 Good how does it feel to be nominated for snow coming? I'm very excited to have the opportunity to represent our class. It feels good to be the representative for the freshman class. What was your first reaction for getting nominated? I'm um, just happy that my classmates voted for me. I was really surprised and excited at the same time. Are you excited? Yes. That was the interview with our freshman snow coming reps. I hope you enjoyed. Hello, I am Isaac. And I am Bella. Let's go talk to a few State Honor Choir members. I put a lot of time into this because it's my baby. I'm the one who got in and it's not like the choir is here rehearsing, so it's up to me to rehearse it on my own. Yes, it was. It was hard making it in because well, there's not that many men that still sing, it's still rough getting in because there's a lot of better ones out there. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm not the best singer, but, yeah. Um, so the first day we have to rehearse for like a half a day, and then the next one is almost a full day, and the last day is the concert. I am Bella. And I am Isaac. We'll see you next time. Have a great day. Hi, I'm Amanda Brown, and this week I sat down with Hannah Honey, and we talked about what it's like to be in student council during snow coming. Behind the scenes of running snow coming is actually kind of confusing. We have different committees for the different things that need to get done. So pep assembly, court, we have um, people that plan the spirit week and then if there's any like this year we have the coaches versus cancer so that's their own committee so I personally do pep assembly and then our focus is to figure out that one little event for snow coming so it runs as smoothly as possible and then when we're finished with that we help the other groups that maybe have a later date for their event. When we're planning snow coming in class it kind of looks like us split up into different groups in the classroom. So we're really kind of split off in our own in the classroom and then kind of helping each other when we're finished with our own tasks. Thank you, Hannah, for speaking with me. I hope you all have a better understanding of what it's like to be in student council during snow coming week. Have a great day, Wayland. This is Cooper Seibot, the reporting in on the casting of Excalibur. I got cast as Arthur. It's basically King Arthur before he was king. He's a very kind person. He's very chivalrous, I guess. I got Elaine, and Elaine is Arthur's little sister. She's just a little girl. She's very sassy, and yeah. I got the role of Kay in the play, and Kay is Arthur's older brother. He's arrogant and full of himself, which I feel like is a perfect role for me because that's totally who I am as a person. And yeah, I got Sir Ector. He's the father of Arthur, the main character of the play. I am Morgan Le Fay. I am King Arthur's aunt and an evil sorceress. She believes that she is very strong when really her power is pretty weak and sucky. I am Merlin the Wizard. He is a wizard. He's supposed to be some age ageless dude who knows pretty much everything about what's going to happen to Arthur. Well, at least up to the point where he pulls Excalibur out of the stone, but you know, other than that, he's, he's a pretty cool dude. It's pretty chill. This has been Cooper Sidebotham reporting in on the casting of Excalibur. See you later. <laughs> I'm Jory Shepard, back at you again with another Coaches vs. Cancer basketball game update. A reminder that the game will be January 25th, and we'll be accepting donations at the game. Please, I expect everyone to be at this game. Let's go check in with the heads of the Coaches vs. Cancer committee, Haley Janinski and Emily Drew, to see what they've accomplished since last time we updated you. We've gotten a cancer survivor to sing the national anthem at our basketball game. Um, we made our incentive, which is the half-day movie day. We've made custom jerseys for teams. 
And yeah. Let's go talk to Jake Rewa, another head of the Coaches vs. Cancer Committee, and see what awards we'll be getting for raising such a large number like $10,000. The boys varsity basketball team will be shaving their heads. The girls varsity basketball team will be cutting six inches off their hair and donating it. The coaches of the boys team will be shaving off all their facial hair, and we're going to have a half-day movie day. Thanks for watching our update on this Coaches vs. Cancer game. The game itself is on the 25th of January. I hope to see you all there raising as much money as possible for this great cause.